What's good YouTube land? That Weird Collector here. Today I'm bringing you guys some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle! It's finally updated to version 3. Alright! And today, the uh, dupe system, slash potential system, whatever you want to call it, is finally available. So we're going to go through everything in the uh, potential system. First, we're going to go into the 150 million global downloads banner. The distribution for the tickets has been completed. So it's sent directly to your gift box. And in a couple days, this should be at, the, the banner should be active. So we'll start doing so many videos for that. And the crossover summons for Dragon Ball Fusions are finally going on. And the Rising Dragon Carnival is going on at the same time with the uh, Agility Ki Super Saiyan Kid Goku that can become Super Saiyan 2 and the Strength Maju that Dokkan and you can look at everything and the Hero Extermination Plan is back so we go in and this is our, these are all the daily bonuses you get you get a shit ton of orbs And got the permission. Let's go into here. Uh, Dragonstone for the maintenance. You get an SSR Tekka, who is the main uh, character. Can't go in. And I got 42 tickets. Who is the main character in Dragon Ball Fusion before you? Like, he's the base body that you then edit on to make your own character. There he is, little Tekka. Uh, nothing much to him. It's just a free SSR. We have the hidden potential system. Just gonna go into my character list. I wanna lock him up. And here is the hidden potential system. So it's gonna go into a bit about it. Good to see you. Here's where you can activate hidden potential and raise your character's power even further. Uh, really? So it's kind of fishy. Guys don't tell lies! Hey, that rhymes. But they do sell pies! makes them unique. Yeah, so you get a bunch of the uh, orbs that you can farm daily. And then you can feed them in to unlock these uh, nodes and the uh, you can boost HP, attack, and defense. And we'll just talk about this in a second. This is telling you what the four paths are. Balance, offense, AP, defense, high growth. So here's what it looks like. I'll zoom out. You got your four paths. So I'm gonna pick a character and I'm gonna pick the guy I want to, Super Vegito. And basically, the, the, their requirements 10 and 5. Or, I'm 
just gonna back out for a second because I think I need I have more orbs than that. Something. Oh wait, I have to go into the missions. Uh, I believe there's new stuff for the treasure that to check out. Yeah, everything got restocked. Uh, the Krillin, the Chaozu, the Yamcha, the Ginyu Goku. This stuff got restocked. So I have some missions, I believe. Five hundred small blue orbs. Two hundred small blue orbs. Let's do some work. Wait. I want to. Uh, check all these missions. So, power up. Green potential gets you an hourglass. I'll talk about the hourglass when I get one. It's just all this stuff for doing random stuff, I'll go through that after. No, I, I, not while I'm recording. Alright. So my Super Vegito is Super Attack 10. Uh, yeah, so the bottom right uh, path you can only up you can only use when your super attack is leveled up move this down a bit. and that just got me an extra 50 on my attack stat so my attack would go from 9140 to 91 uh, like 90 and you can see the activation rate there you can get well obviously there's a hundred percent. I'm trying to find a good spot. I'm going to put myself down here. Maybe right there. Yeah, it's, this is, it's very slow in the global version, I've noticed. It's just talking about defense, attack. Oh, my, oh the first one was an HP orb. Never mind. Really increased my HP. And you keep going. It, it's a very addictive system. Like... It's what got me hooked on playing JP. Because I, I, I pulled Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and then started messing around with the orb system and I was like, this is really fun farming orbs. So, we're going to go out of that. I'm going to do him. I'm going to work on him later. And then we're going to go reverse. Sunders explain the reverse function. So, the reverse function is, can only be used with uh, characters who are T, U, R, and above. So, like, Transcended UR and LR cards can be reversed back to their uh, previous form for free for one hour glass, basically. So, I'm just going to ignore this because I've already read it. Select. Let's select Majin Buu. Oh, I own zero. What? Oh. Let's go. Let's go pull one out of the missions. Okay. Reverse. If I reverse him. He goes back to max level on a on a regular UR card, but then you could uh, you at this point that's cool. I've never seen that animation. Then you can then feed the uh, SSR Najin Boos back into him. Or like top the super attack, or unlock pals in the dupe system, and then you could just reawaken him, reverse awaken him back to his previous state for free. 
and then and all the boots you've already done in the dupe system are like retained throughout this process which is really cool and now he's back to doing this wow. one what incredible power so yeah it, it saves you the hassle of if you pull an uh, like a, a dupe of an ssr and like your ssr is already like that booze already dope on Awaken, it saves you the hassle of having to farm the metals to awaken the second one to feed into them, because you can just buy an hourglass and reverse. And I got a bunch of strength orbs. That's basically all there is. back but you have stuff like this this is a super attack boost so you can see all the nodes up there the super attack boost I believe it increases your damage done with a super attack here we'll read them this one is the recovery boost so slightly raises the amount of HP recovered when obtaining key sphere that matches your character's type so the you get levels so the max I believe is level 20 you can have for this you have that, you have super attack boost, so slightly raises the super attack power. Any additional effects of the super attack will not change. You've got uh, defense boost, so it boosts, it lowers the damage you receive. Basically, when you're attacked by like a type you have an advantage over. So, as it says, ADL is attacked by strength and whatnot. It basically helps you tank a lot better. And then there's attack. It increases your attack when you have the advantage. When you have the attacking advantage over your opponent. So, like ADL over strength, obviously, that kind of stuff. And then the top three are the most interesting. One is uh, evasion. So it gives you a rare chance to dodge all damage. Like, if it activates and... I don't know, you're being super attacked and it activates, you dodge that super attack. If you're using Super Vegito or Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, then your, your counter still goes off. Like, you dodge, you take zero damage, but you, then you also hit him with a counter attack. The skill does not work on passive skills and certain other abilities. And then there's, there's a critical hit, which grants you the rare chance of throwing a critical hit. It's basically almost like double damage. If you if you play Pokemon, you know the critical hit ratio. I'm pretty sure it's the same rate. But that's cool. And then the final one is the combo attack, which was in, which was I believe introduced by Physical Broly. It, it gives you a rare chance to do a, an additional attack, basically. So like I, if I gave that to Vegeta, let's see if he can if I can unlock that pretty easily here yeah combo attack that 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 node up there will give me a level five combat attack like combo attack so like if vegeto has a rare chance to hit two times in one turn and the second uh, attack can be either a uh, basic attack or a super attack so you best case scenario you can have two super attacks pop off one after another which is very nice That's basically everything there is to the uh, system. And if we go into the event, we can look at all five of the events for farming the uh, dupe system board. So here's the, the uh, ADL is uh, cell. So basically, I'll, I'll actually do one. You have three. You have. Uh, okay, this has one one time. But in the JP version, uh, they rotate daily. So Monday is AGL, which is Sunday in in my time zone. Because Japan's 14 hours ahead of Eastern Standard Time. So Monday is 
agility. Tuesday is tech. Wednesday is intelligence. Uh, Thursday is physical. And Friday is strength. So you get each day you have three opportunities to farm more. Like you can only farm the, the thing three times in one day. Uh, I love the fact that they finally gave the update button to Global. Like that's the thing that's put Japan so far ahead for so long is the ability to hunt for a card you want to use. That's basically why I don't play Global on my iPad very much is because because I run a mono intelligence team and it's really hard to find a Buhan friend. But the update button allows me to keep looking instead of waiting for the list to refresh. Oh, there's my there's my friend Super. Uh, attack 10 TUR Super Vegeta. Alright, let's do this. So now we wait. And this is what the map looks like. All the little blue discs are where are the places you obtain orbs. So I just gained 18 medium-sized orbs. I got that path is one, two, four. This path is just two. Okay, three. So I'm gonna go on the Android 17. I'm gonna fight him. And every stage, each of the like the characters have a gimmick. So on the AGL stage, it's the same gimmick the Tech Cell boss event has, where you can only finish them with a super attack. But I find it interesting that on the global version, they added uh, like a secondary character, because in the JP version, you only have to fight one of the characters. So I'm just gonna do that. Not super attack. That one's super attack. And so is that one. This kid Goku as soon as possible because he's gonna pop out on my team on this team. This is the event I've been waiting for. This this only the uh, the awakening for the kid Goku and the Magu only came out on Japan like a couple months ago, so they're relatively global relatively early when it comes to this uh the rising rate, another update for the ready. I'm losing the ability to speak. Just ignore what I was trying to say. Yeah, we're gonna try and finish off Android 17 here. In relatively quick fashion, he is. He does have quite a bit of health. Counter attack. Just gonna sit back. Some hey, huh? Hey, huh? Not a bad amount of damage. I could have a super attack with Super Vegito, because that would probably kill him relatively easily, but... Oh well, two other super attacks will have to do. He did 38 damage. Yeah, he has to be finished by his super attack. Do I have enough? Or no, I don't. I do that. Damn, it wasn't enough. The orbs didn't land where I wanted them to. So, I'll have to wait until next turn to hopefully finish them off. Yeah, all three characters on this stage have that gimmick. The, uh, the physical stage all three of the characters can heal themselves. So it's Babidi, uh, Dabura, and I believe Majin Buu. Which is really annoying when you're trying to compete, when you're trying to 
fight them with a mono intelligence team because you can't do enough damage without dual Guhan. Like it, it frustrated the hell out of me. That, like I was giant, I was doing that on my iPad earlier today, and I just I I I quit the mission because I couldn't beat it. I just couldn't beat Bobbity, which is some really weird to say, but I got 150 small orbs and 60 medium orbs. So collect those orders. I'll go one, because I don't I want to avoid that. Two. One. Pick up as many orbs as I can. Get another one. And three should be enough to pick up the other orb. Yes it is. I'm just the kind of person who, who does not mind grinding, so this is like the really good thing, like a really addictive thing to do is try and grind every day for orb to make my character even better. And you get a Dragonstone to boot. I only have two, so I won't do, I won't do a summon right now. I can't. But I will finish off the video with the... Uh, this the gameplay from this, which gives you an option, to, which gives you a free uh, pinch, who's basically the the uh, supporting mate, like the like he's Tekka's best friend, like they're All right, they're the two main let's characters. Do this. this is going really slow. Why did my game freeze? Hello. What the hell was that? Yeah, you have the option to fight either Pnitch or up there a fusion of Goku and Broly. Who gives you the uh, medals to uh, awaken the characters from the banner. I definitely recommend grabbing Dragon Ball Fusions, it's a really fun game. Like I bought it like a month ago or something and I'm still playing it because it takes a long, like there are a lot of characters in the game and I want to get them all. Who's that? Here. Yeah, this Pinit. And this guy's Tekka. We're in training for the space time tournament that they created. You really have to know the story behind the game to get this. Yeah, you fight both Tekka and Kanish. This should be pretty easy. Although, I feel like my game is so slow, to the, slow for some reason. His boat. Oh, oh Pinch is not down yet. There we go. No, I mean Tekka. I didn't beat Tekka somehow. And Pinch is down the, this next turn. Didn't want to use like that, but it still got the super attack. And a super attack to come too. Spirit Bomb Goku should be able to finish him off. You know, I really think we need a, a, a Dokkan Awakening. Like Dokkan Festival for the uh, all the Spirit Bomb Goku. The, the Strength one, the uh, Physical one, and the AGL one. And I got two battle cards. Are they both an inch or is one tech? Because I think they're super attacks. Uh, 
Okay, I got one of Tekka and Pinich. So, yeah, the super attack from 10 has become more powerful. So, it's, it's better to feed the Tekka and Pinich, I guess, into each other, into themselves. Like, Pinich is definitely based on Vegeta. So, lock him up. I'm gonna feed the Tekka in, like, train them, train one up, because I want to get his super attack up to 10, and I don't plan to spend the Elder Kai on him. So, do this. God dang it. And I'm gonna end this video. So, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope this has been informative in your, uh, for the dupe system, I hope, you, I hope there's nothing I missed, and if there is, feel free to let me know, like, feel free to yell at me in the comments below, but until then, or until next time, keep it weird.